Today, I'll be discussing a variety of budget plans that you can follow. My name is Munif Ali and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s and I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars of sales. I started to make these videos to share my life experiences, to teach others how to become successful and how to become more financially aware and financially responsible. If you like the type of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and by all means smash that subscribe button and like the video and share it with people who might find this useful. When you say budget, most people think that it's just about getting your total income and your expenses and then putting that aside for savings and retirement. Yes, in its simplest form, but no. A budget can be even more complex than that. And I'm here to discuss several other budget plans that you can follow to help you reach your financial goals faster. This is the most common of all budgets, the one that is most popular one. It's called a bucket budget and it follows the 50-30-20 rule. 50% of your income goes to needs, 30% goes to wants, and 20% goes in savings and investments. It's simple, which is why people follow this method. You don't need to think about it to distribute how much you're going to be allocating in each area. Then you have the debt eraser budget. For those of you that are deep in debt, the debt eraser budget focuses on getting you out of debt and most of your money will go to paying down debts such as credit cards and medical bills and other expenses. Don't just pay your card's minimum amount. You need to rank your debts accordingly, according to the highest interest rate first and which ones have the closest deadlines. Prioritize those and set aside for necessities, paying most of your money towards these debts. This way, you're gonna get back on track a lot faster and getting financial stable a lot sooner, starting your savings and investments right after that. The wealth building budget. This is the budget for whose minds are set on the future. The wealth building budget is perfect for those who have that dream of becoming that millionaire. In this budget, most of your income is gonna to go towards assets and investments and stocks and real estate and maybe even crypto if you don't mind the risk. This budget will help you diversify your portfolio so you can increase your net worth even faster. The opposite of the wealth building budget is the room for fun budget. This is for the person who primarily wants to enjoy life by gaining experiences and traveling and meeting other people. It might seem counterintuitive for a budget, but meeting people and having new experiences can be a valuable asset. Think of it as making a budget for networking or inspiration for your next project. So if you like to travel, go diving or attend parties, go ahead and try the Room for Fun budget as long as you set aside some money for your savings. You'll be all right. Heck, you might even meet your next business partner on a trip or get inspired to start another business. Just a quick break. I'm really excited to share this news with you. We're giving away a free ebook on money management. If you sign up using the link down below, you can download that free PDF and you'll be shocked at how many resources and how much time we've put into this so that you can get the best value ever. This is especially for you younger investors and people starting their lives out, but it can help everyone no matter where you are in the journey. So grab your copy as soon as possible. And before I tell you the last one, if you like the type of content that I give you, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button let me and the YouTube algorithm know that this video is valuable to you I'll bring you more content like this every single week so make sure you also hit that notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out for the freelancers part-timers contractual workers this is the type of budget for you it's the unsteady income budget and it's made for those who don't rely on monthly paychecks if you're passionate you're an artist you're creative let's say and you're starting out freelancing secure your budget so you need to focus on essential expenses first and find a way to create a steady income think of it as giving uh, a paycheck to yourself that will be sufficient to cover all of your needs think of it as a way of creating a more steady income put your money into savings right away when you get those lump sum projects done and and then over time, pull out money so your income is more steady. Make sure you pay the essentials and your bills and your living expenses, but don't go into any of that money unless you truly need it. This will ensure that you get a steady income stream and basically a paycheck. Just make sure you're paying all of your debts that you're responsible for. Keep working and keep doing it until you feel confident that you won't be coming short in the following months. And this is a huge problem for a lot of people in the freelancing and contracting world because you never really know when your source of work is going to dry out. That's why I advocate heavy investments, almost like an emergency fund for you. And since your income can fluctuate depending on the number of clients or the number of projects you have, you need to really study your income highs and lows over the last couple of years 
and months and record everything from you know cycles going up and down the number of clients you could be in a part of the world that really affects your job based on weather so really jot all that down so you're aware so take a look at the years you made the least amount of money even if your business is growing and set the line right there and then develop what I call a cash cushion. That cash cushion is essentially your safety net. You know what your lowest point in your business is. You also know the highest point. Now I want to average everything out with having that cash cushion. Those are the five different budget types that you can use. And remember to base your budget on your personality and your specific situation. And let me know what kind of budget you think will work for you in the comments down below. And if you like this video, go ahead and apply a little bit of pressure to that like and subscribe button. If you want to learn more about budgeting, I made a video about starting your investment and retirement plans while you're in your 30s. Check out this video next.